Hello guys, I hope I find you well. Welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video, we are continuing with our discussion on laws of indices. So, we are dealing with fractional indices. You have got a situation, uh, we've got a fraction 27 over 8 raised to the power negative 2 thirds. So, first of all, we must deal with the negative sign on this fractional index. Or this fractional power so how do we remove the negative sign we simply invert our fraction or write the inverse of the fraction which becomes 8 over 27 to the power 2 thirds so notice here if you invert this fraction and write it as 8 over 27 you would have removed the negative sign on the fractional power or fractional index also i want you to take note that i inverted this fraction 27 or 8 and it, be, it became it became 8 over 27 but i did not invert or write the reciprocal of the fractional index i just removed the minus sign and it remained as 2 over 3 if you check you can check you can see that uh, 2 remains at the top and 3 at the bottom so in this case, when it appears like this, this 3 here at the denominator is uh, indicating that I must find the cube root of 8 over the cube root of 27 and raise them to the power 2. That is what this uh, fractional power or a fractional index is, uh, is indicating here. I must find the cube root of 8 divided by the cube root of 27 and raise them to the power 2 so i can write uh, like this um, i put the 3 here then 8 over 27 um, and then this enclose all these in the bracket raised to the power 2. So this is just an alternative way of writing the same thing here. So the cube root of 8 is 2. The cube root means the, the number which multiplies itself 3 times to give me 8, that's 2. And the cube root of 27, that's 3, it means the number which multiplies itself 3 times to give me 27, that's 3. And then I will raise this to the power 2. So when I raise this to the power 2, it means it's 2 over 3 multiplied by 2 over 3, or 2 to the power 2 over 3 to the power 2. Take note, if a power is, is written like this, it means it affects both. The, it has an effect on the upper number on the numerator and also an effect on the denominator. So in this case, it becomes 2 to the power 2 over 3 to the power 2. And if 2 to the power 2, we know it's 4. 3 to the power 2 is 3 times 3, which is 9. So our final answer will be 4 over 9. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on indices.